Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before we even get started in this lesson, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakakadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And third, I want to give salutations to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that push him forth this word and its truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm Brother Hakka from GMS South Carolina Midlands, and I'm going to entitle this lesson uh, that I'll be doing um, tonight. Uh, pretty much, I may just entitle it uh, "The Children of the Light," all right, which represents the elect of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Uh, some ways, some some ways similar to what I just said right there. All right, <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna have the children of the light in there. As uh, far as the uh, title, this listen right here. And just saying that, um, you know, when when you go into the Children of the Light, uh, going back to uh, 1 Thessalonians, uh, the fifth chapter, starting at the four, fourth verse, the Children of the Light, uh, which represents the elect of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because we know the true light is Yahweh Shah through the power of Yahweh. And uh, without further ado, man, let's go ahead and let's get to the scriptures, man. All right, you know, go to the scriptures and reprove all things in the scriptures, man. All right, now this right here is, uh, we're going to go to St. John, the 8th chapter. All right. And we're going to get the 12th verse here. St. John 8 and 12. It says, Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto, unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness and you know you walking in darkness that means man you of the world man that darkness represents confusion of this world that darkness if you in darkness you have no knowledge and no understanding of spirituality when it comes to yahweh bashim yahweh shah when it comes to this truth all right and, and two-thirds of israel are walking in darkness and e every day they walk in darkness man all right not knowing the light which is yahweh shah okay and uh finishing it says but shall have the light of life. See, that's heavy within itself. Man. Now, let's go to the blue letter. Let's go to the blue letter. And let's look up that word light. We're going to look up that word light in the blue letter. And we're also going to look up that word darkness, man. All right. Which is some heavy definition, man. You know, there's, um, really, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, I was looking up that uh, definition of the word light and darkness. And, you know, and through the spirit, just got inspired to just go ahead and do a quick listen. All right, which the light, you know, represents Yahweh Shai, and the darkness represents, the, you know what I'm saying, the world, man. All right, the confusion of this world. Uh, now, um, let's go to St. Now, we're in St. John 8 and 12, and we're going to look up that definition of the word light, and then we're going to turn around and look up the definition of the uh, of the definition of the word darkness in the blue letter here. All right, this right here, light right here, uh, Strong's uh, 54, 57. Gonna go ahead, hit the um, pronunciation of the word light in the Greek. Okay. Strong's G, 5457. Fos. 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 So let's go to that definition of fos, man. Let's see what the definition of fos means. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. Light, the light emitted by a lamp. A heavenly light such as surrounds angels when they appear on earth. -hoo 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 -hoo. That's heavy right there. All right. That glow. <laughs> that light does have a glow. All right. All right. Anything emitting a light, emitting light, excuse me, anything emitting light, a star, fire because it is light and shares light. Okay. Let's get, let's get down right here. The A right here, man. Uh, God is light because light has the extremely delicate, su subtle, uh, pure, brilliant quality. <laughs> subtle, 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 pure, brilliant quality. Come on, man. All right, look, uh, read the definition of B. Of truth and its knowledge, together with the spiritual purity associated with it. These are some heavy definition for light, man. All right, went to that last definition. C, that which is exposed to the view of all openly, publicly. A, that, that reminds me of that Matthew, the fifth chapter. Let's read, uh, reading that uh, uh, C definition for light. 
It says that which is exposed to the view of all for all to see. All right. Going back to Matthew, the fifth chapter, being that light on the hill, man, <laughs> that light on the hill, man. All right. Openly, publicly. All right. And, we, and, and when you how about your mouth, I send us where on the highways and byways, man. All right. You know, for the world to see. And we upload those videos on the world wide web, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? So the whole world gets to see, you know what I'm saying? The truth being brought out through the spirit of your how about your mouth, shot by his men. So the elders, apostles, a great millstone to the elder bishops on down to us, man. All right. Look at this last definition right here. I, right, man. All right. For the word, for the definition of the word light. It says the power of understanding, especially moral and spiritual truth. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, man. These are some heavy definitions right here for the light, man. And these are all qualities, you know what I'm saying, that the elect is going to have, man. Represent this knowledge and the truth. As, as we read, 1 John 8 and 12, Yahweh Shah is that ultimate light at the end of the day, man. All right. So the elect, you know what I'm saying, that follow Yahweh Shah, and hey, we're going to be that light as well, man. All right, because we coming in the spirit, we coming in the name and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, which that's heavy within itself, man. All right. Now, now, we look up that word light. We know what that word light mean. Okay. All right. Now, let's look up the word darkness because when we went, to, uh, matter of fact, let's read St. John 8 and 12 again. All right. St. John 8 and 12. And we know red letters Yahweh Shah. It says, uh, then speak Yahweh Shah again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. So we understand what that definition of the word light means. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. And that's the elect. The elect ain't going to walk in darkness. They're not going to walk in a state of confusion at the end of the day, man. A state of wickedness at the end of the day, man. It says, but shall have the light of life, man. All right. And it says shall not walk in darkness. Now, let's look up that word darkness, man. Because the elect, you know, um, like how I said, they're not going to walk in darkness. man. All right. Like like the world, like two thirds, man. Now, here it is. Um, Scrongs 40, 46, 53. All right. For darkness. All right. And let's uh, get the pronunciation of that. Strong's G 4653. Scotia. 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 All right, Scott Tia. Now, let's uh, read the definition of darkness, man. It says, all right, you already know the first de definition, darkness. The darkness due to want of light. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. It says the darkness due to want of life, man. And and and, and that, re um, that remind me, man, Um, you know what I'm saying? I think that's, uh, if I ain't mistaken, I think that's what the Romans... Going back to, is it, I think it's the 10th chapter here. Yeah, yeah, that reminds me of Romans uh, 10. And um, I, I start at verse 1. Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. See, it said Israel, not no damn body else, man. All right, not no goddamn body else, man. All right, but the point in verse 2 I wanted to make, man, going back to the definition. You know what I'm saying? Of uh the first, I mean the second definition of darkness, man. You know, it says uh the second definition, the darkness due to want of light. Cause see, two thirds of man, they, they want the light, they, they want the truth. They think they have the knowledge, they think they have the truth in the different ideology that they prescribe to in the world, different philosophies and different religions that they prescribe to in the world, man. All right, you know, the true the true religion is coming back to the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. Hey, that's the true uh religion right there, man. All right. Um, let's uh get back uh to Romans ten and two to make that point. All right, it says, "For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge, not according to the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, yes, our people Israel, they have a zeal. You know what I'm saying? We are spiritual people by nature. Our people think that they have a spiritual connection with the true power." Uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, even though a lot of them don't know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, a lot of them prescribe the different other philosophies and different other religions of the world, whether it's Christianity, all right, uh, whether it's uh, uh, um, Islam, you know what I'm saying, whether it's, uh, you know, people that believe in that, uh, that Mo Moorish madness or whatnot, 
you know, calling themselves Moors or rather they prescribed being Kemic, all right, or Egyptians, you know, or some of them believe in Buddha, you know, so they prescribe to all the different, and some of them are, are goddamn atheists, you know, so, you know, they don't believe in anything at the end of the day or whatnot. They just believe in um, evolution, but I don't believe in evolution, you know, so, you know, they have, but, but if you ask any of them, any of them that prescribe to all those different ideologies, they'll tell you that they got the truth. They'll tell you that, you know, they got the true knowledge and the true understanding, man. All right. Whether they five percent us, you know, yeah, we got body, son. We got body, son. You know, so they got a zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. Going to verse three for they being ignorant of your house righteousness, man. Yeah. Cause if you ain't coming back knowing you, you know, knowing the name of your how about you, how shot a true power, your how, you know, what I'm saying the world ignorantly calls God. You know, or Jehovah, his true name is Yahweh in the Hebrew, which means he is and he is this. And you don't know the true power uh, of the son. You know, Yahweh Shai. All right. His name ain't no damn Jesus. OK. Ain't no Christ. All right. Ain't no Yahshua. OK. All right. You know, the true name is Yahweh Shai. He's the deliverer at the end of the day or whatnot. All right. So if you don't know the true name, you know what I'm saying? You know, you don't know your Hebrew Israelite. And you, don't, and you ain't got 100 percent truth in the scriptures because you got a lot of. Israelites out there that know that they're Israel and know the name of Yahweh about Shem Shah, but they don't have the 100% truth, man. You know, a lot of Jake's still wrestling with the Israelite foreigners. Just to bring an example, you know, they, they don't know about the Israelite foreigners. They think all Israel going to come back looking like Michael Jordan and Shaf, all right? You know, they don't know about Israel that's scattered amongst other heathen nations, and they're going to be looking like the other heathen nations, man. You know, they, they, they don't know about uh, going into the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, that you know what I'm saying? The Karagma, all right? You know, they don't know about the Karagma, all right? Which is the, the C to the H to the I to the P. They don't they don't have that understanding, all right? A lot of them don't teach on the elect. So just because you know that you're Hebrew Israelite, that's not an end all or be all at the end of the day. You got to have the 100% truth, man. All right? You know, that's why uh, uh, elders, apostles, and, you know, they get on certain uh, Israelite camps to go back to one west, and they call them the 1992 Israelites because they haven't grown in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, man. They haven't grown, man. All right, you know, but anyway, uh, Romans 10 to 3, it says, For they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, that's why you have a term called what? Two thirds, man. All right, you know, you let them tell it, they, they got the knowledge, they got the understanding. All right, but we're going back to the definition of darkness right here. And here, here's the kicker right here. Here's the is a heavy definition, man. All right. The third definition right here, man. All right. Of uh, darkness. It says use of ignorance of divine things, divine things, spiritual things, man. Of your how about you, Shah. And it's associated wickedness, man. <laughs> and the resulting misery in hell, man. All right. But, man, that's a kicker. Right? It says use of ignorance, man. Ignorance of not knowing. They have no they have no knowledge, man. All right. Like they said, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. They're ignorant, man, of divine things, of spiritual things, man. All right. At the end of the day, or whatnot, man. When it comes to this truth, when it comes to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. All right. But going back um to St. John, all right, eight and twelve. Reading it one more time. It says, Then speak Yahweh Shah again. Unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Nah, man, the true children, you know, the, the elect of Yahweh about your shall is not going to walk in darkness. They're going to be measuring the time, man. All right? The true elect, they, they're going to be in the house of mourning. All right? We're we looking forward for our big bro, Yahweh about your shot to return, man. We're looking for our big bro, Yahweh shot to return in the power of Yahweh. We're looking for Yahweh shot to return, man. We're looking to be delivered out of this fucking hell, man. We're not trying to make, we're not going to get relaxed. You know, we're not going to get lackadaisical. We're not going to get comfortable in our fucking hell, in our slavery, in our captivity, man. Go, pursuing back to Micah 2 and 10, this is not our rest at the end of the damn fucking day. We're not making a fucking home. I'm trying to make a home here in fucking America. We know Babylon is going to be destroyed. We're not holding on to anything in Babylon, man. All right? And we're not letting nothing come before this truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for us doing this work that we are called to in this ministry by through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. I should say, man, many are called, but a few chosen. Out of rock, if we endure to the end, we, we want to be that chosen at the end of the day, man. All right. So we're not going to let nothing of this fucking world be a stumbling block, man. All right. And that and that's us walking into the light, man. 
All right, we're not of this fucking world, man. Cause Yahweh Shemayosha chosen us out of this world, man. At the end of the day, man. All right, but it says finishing up the last sentence in um the uh the twelfth verse in um the eighth chapter of Saint John, but shall have the light of light. This is the light of life right here, man. That eternal, the eternal life, man. That's what we trying to achieve. That eternal life, man. Okay, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Ultimately, if we endure to the end, man. All right, you know that that true light, man. All right, because this world, going back to this world here, going back to Isaiah, this world is full with darkness. Darkness of what? Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Ignorance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. At one time, you know what I'm saying? We was in darkness as well, too, man. We was in no chains of darkness as well, too. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh stir up our pure remembrance, man. All right, you know? But uh, let's read Isaiah 60 and 2. And that's, and that's the elect, the hopeful. I mean, we pray we have the hopeful elect, but the elect have been woken up through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh out of this fucking darkness, man. All right? Um, Isaiah 60 and 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh Shah, is risen upon thee. The elect, baby. <laughs> the elect, man. Okay? It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Yeah, that, that darkness, because you have uh, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. Pursuing back to uh, uh, Job 9 and 24. And we know Esau's ruling. He's the devil. He's a fucking liar. He speak lies. Going back to uh, Psalms 58 and 3. All right, he's backing up the scriptures. Esau, the so-called white man. His, his, his story that he put out there, that he indoctrinated the children of Israel, saying he's the most high. You know, saying he's the children of Israel. All right, you know, the devil putting up, you know, the evolution, you know, uh, you know, so many things. I mean, so many fucking lies the devil put out there. The hell doctrine giving us, the, uh, telling us that we African-Americans, Puerto Ricans, you know, the, the, these company names and shit that he placed upon the, the children of Israel. All right. They're, they're natural born goddamn liars, man. All right. And he saw he the third category of man. Psalms 58 and 3. It says the wicked, which you go in Malachi 1 and 4. It goes into who the wicked is, which is Edom, man, Esau, man. All right, they're the board of wickedness. Pursuing back to Malachi 1 and 4, man. They're the third category of man. All right, but uh, going back to Psalms 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, man. So they're the, they natural born liars at the end of the damn day, man. That's why this world is full of goddamn damn darkness they, they'll tell you man uh flew on the goddamn man landing on the moon man which is one of of many lies this damn devil don't put out there man all right you know the the, the, the goddamn beetlejuice another you know what i'm saying lie man made you know what i'm saying plague made by esau all right <laughs> you know i tell you man it's a fucking damn devil right here man but let's um, continue on man Isaiah 60 and 2, reading again, it says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, man. And why is that darkness going to cover the earth? Because Esau, he's ruling, man. He's in a fucking rule, man. All right. It says, And gross darkness to people. But, yeah, that's why Jake is lost as hell. Jake don't know the name, don't know who they are. You know, Jake calls himself African Americans, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, uh, Native Americans. You know, they call the name of Jesus Christ, you know, Jehovah. All right, because they in gross darkness at the end of the day, man. Christian, the, the Jake that prescribed a Christianity, the Lord love everybody. The Lord love everybody, you know. And Yahweh Bashmah Shah only chosen Israel to himself, man. And, and on this side right here, Yahweh Bashmah Shah only chosen the elect of the nation of Israel like that, man. He ain't dealing with all of Israel. That's why you have two thirds which is going to be destroyed. You know, Yahweh Bashmah Shah is only going to deliver the one third, man, which is the elect. And that's starting with the body government of, of, of Yahweh Bashmah Shah, the 144,000 and the multitude, man. All right, which is going to represent the elect, man. All right, you know, the women, the kids of the elect. All right, you know, and it's going to be. Oh, uh, friends of the elect, because anybody, you know, because you're going to have certain men, they're going to be uh, of that multitude, you know, that they're going to help out the prophets. They're going to open their houses up for the prophets. They're going to believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They're going to be contributing to the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and they're going to get a reward as a prophet as well, too. You know, it's so like the scripture said, man. All right. You know, they're going to have a reward for them, too, man. All right. You know, but majority are going to be, you know, women. They're going to be delivered. You know what I'm saying? Out of that multitude, the women, they're going to be for the elect, man. All right. In order to, uh, for the elect to uh, bring back uh, the two thirds, man. All right. You know, because ultimately all Israel is going to be saved. And that's talking about the kingdom, man. All right. But on this side, Yahweh Shah blood ain't going to cover two thirds on this side right here, man. All right. 
um, but it's only going to cover the one third. It says, but the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Man. Yeah, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah's glory is going to be seen upon, you know what I'm saying, the elect, man. All right, pursuing back to uh, Matthew, man. All right, five, because we know Yahweh Shah is the ultimate light at the end of the day, which represents his knowledge and his truth, man. All right, the true gospel, man, the true good news at the end of the day. Yahweh Shah was the only one that can break those seals, man. He is, and, and, um, Another title for Yahweh Shah, going back to uh, St. John, um, Yahweh Shah, he is that word, man. All right, the word is in Yahweh Shah, he is the word, man, okay? But going back to uh, Matthew, the fifth chapter, and reading verse 14, we're going to read 14 through 16, man. All right, uh, Matthew 5 and 14, and, and like we said, man, that light represents, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shah and the elect, all right, of the nation of Israel. Uh, verse 14, red letter, Yahweh Shah, ye are the light. Of the world, a city that is set on a hill and cannot be hid, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Re represents uh Babylon, aka America. You know what I'm saying? Where we're gonna be that light on the hill, man. All right, you know, the elect, cause it's truth that the elect was gonna wake up, you know what I'm saying, over here in Babylon, man. All right, and that started all the way back. You know, you got a clown out here talking about Elijah and Elder Alvin Bivens, but that's just the spirit of Yahweh about your ain't dealing with this clown, man. And any other body that prescribed that too. All right, you know, Elijah did come back to bring us back to our father, pursuing back to the book of Malachi. All right, you know, and that was uh, Elder Alva Bivens, man. All right, for those that don't know. All right, and that's through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Bashad that's given to us through the men of the Lord, some of the elders, apostles, great minister on down to us, man. You know what I'm saying? Who have eyes to see, they can see that, man, through the spirit, man. All right, but going back to the book of Malachi, I mean, schlop, <laughs> going back to uh, Matthew 5 and 14, it says, Ye are the light. Of the world, a city that is set on a hill and cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. Yeah, man, because what's the use of lighting a candle and putting it under a bushel? Because well, you, because you have, you, you lighting that candle. That candle is supposed to illuminate the whole room, man. All right, you know, the, where, wherever you at, that light's supposed to illuminate, man. All right, where you, where you, where you can have some understanding. You know, that light represents knowledge, understanding of the truth. Ultimately, at the end of the day. So it's saying if you got knowledge in the truth, why are you going to put it up on a bushel, which is a parable? You know what I'm saying? In essence, when you got this knowledge and you, you got the truth, you don't want to be like the parable of the men with the talents, man. All right. You know, the men that had the five talents, the men that had what, thir what three talents or whatnot, and the man that had the one talent. You don't want to be like the guy with the man, you know what I'm saying? The, the guy with the one talent. Because when he, the guy with the one talent, matter of fact, let's get, uh, let me get that real quick because I don't quote it that, man. You know. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna get straight. We can get straight uh to the point, man. All right. We get we get straight to the point, man. All right. Um, let me see here. Where we at with it? I think that's uh hold on here. Let's get straight. Let's slot this Matthew 25th chapter. All right. Uh let's start at verse 20. Uh Matthew 25, verse 20. And so he that had received the five talents, which represents knowledge and understanding, the truth, all right, came and bought other five talents, saying, Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, thou uh, deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things, into thou and to the joy of thy Lord, Yahweh Shah. And he also that received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them, which represents the elect. The talents represent this knowledge and the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Supposed to be out there on them highways and byways and compel the elect to come in. And how the elect is going to come in through the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Not of our own, but the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The talents, the gifts that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah place upon the elect. You're supposed to go out there and, and declare the word and the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Going back uh, to the scripture where Yahweh Shah said, my sheep shall hear my voice. How they gonna hear the voice? Gonna hear the voice through the men of the Lord, man. Because we're gonna be speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, through the Rakar Kadash, which is the Holy Spirit, bro, which is gonna be upon us, man. So that is our commandment. That is our duty. 
All right, of you, how about you, Shah? That is our reasonable service. Supposed to be out there on the highways and byways and prophesying his word and the truth. We're supposed to be doing our daily videos, like through the spirit of you, how about you, Shah? You know, uh, lying on Elder Pastor Har to give that decree. You know, doing your three videos a week. And, you know, and technically, they're supposed to be doing way more than three videos a week, man. You know what I'm saying? Every day, the spirit is on you. You know, the spirit on you, man, to go out there and do a video, man. All right, you know, and if you, the spirit ain't on you to, to do a video, Hey, man, upload a brother video, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? So the work always supposed to be going out at the end of the day, man. OK, especially, you know, looking and knowing what time that we in is always different topics you can go into. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day or whatnot, man, because so much prophecy that has taken place that's going on, man. All right. You can add to another brother. Listen, you can read a brother. Listen, that he done did. You know, you can not read, but shlot. you can be uh, listening to another fellow laborer. Yeah, how about you, man? I was shy. And, you know, you and he's going into a listen that he's going into. All right, he's doing a, a heavy listen through the spirit. And that can inspire you to continue on, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, add on to that brother um, listen that he did, man. All right. You know, so too much things is going on, man. Too many prophecies is popping off. Too much things going on in the world that not being in the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah without, you know, doing a video, man. And every video don't have to be 20, 30 minutes all damn hour and whatnot, man. Like, uh, El Pascal. Elder Pascal Bar did a video. I don't know whether I think it was uh, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Or it could have been earlier today. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you're doing your videos, I mean, make it. You know what I'm saying? Make it plain, man. At the end of the day, man. All right, it's supposed to be plain to to understand at the end of the day, man. You know, it could be something basic at the end of the day. Everything got to be try to be super deep, man. You know, just going to the basics at the end of the day, man. All right, but uh, but just getting to the point right here, man. Let's get to the point here, man. Um, the guy with the one damn talent, man. Cause you know the, the, the brothers. They had the five talents, the brother had the two talents. Hey, they did what they were supposed to do, man. Went out there and pushed forth this word, pushed forth this truth. But when you look at this, this clown right here, um, Matthew 25 and 24, the guy with the one talent, you, you know, he pretty much he put his light up under a bushel, man, at the end of the day, man. All right. Uh, let's read verse 24, red letter Yahweh was shot. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord. I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not straw. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is dying. So, you know, he ain't did what he was supposed to do. You know, look at Yahweh Shah respond back to this clown, man. All right. This, all right. Let's, I'm about to say something else. Let's read the scripture. Verse 26. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked. So Yahweh said, hey, You a wicked mother, you a wicked servant and slothful servant. You wicked because you didn't do what you commanded to do, man. You was disobedient, man, through the commandment Yahweh Shah told you to do, man. You a wicked, unprofitable servant, man. It says, You wicked and slothful servant. And slothful means what? Extremely lazy, man. Thou knewest that I reap where I soweth not and gather where I have not straw. Thou outest, therefore, to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming, I should have received my own with usury. Yeah, so you could have went out there, pushed off this word, and it's true, you know, like you were commanded to do. If you didn't gain a brother, you know, guess what? That wouldn't be no knock on you. You know what I'm saying? You know, you would be free with bloods on your hands because you did what you commanded to do. At the end of the day, by your how about you, how was shot? You know, but, but this guy didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you know, he didn't do what he was supposed to do at the end of the damn day, man. All right. You know, and um, and, and reading verse 30 is getting straight to the point, man. And it says, and cash ye the unprofitable servant into out of darkness. So you how about you? I say going to cast your ass out, man, and out of darkness to destruction, man. It's going to be part of the two thirds, man. There shall be weeping and gashing of teeth, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? That won't happen to that un unprofitable servant, man, because he didn't do what the do what he, he was supposed to do, do what he was commanded to do by Yahweh Bashim al You got a lot of guys in that category, man. You ain't want to be in that damn category, all right? Because that category is going to lead you to be a uh, uh, damn um, two-thirds, man, all right? You know, which is going to be which is gonna be destroyed, man. You're going gonna, to you're gonna be partakers of that uh, second death, which is the nuclear missiles, man, all right? Um, That, that true lake of fire, man, all right? Uh, Going back to uh, Matthew 5, and... um. And 15, red letter Yahweh Shah, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Yeah, understand it, man. Because once, you know what I'm saying, once we was in darkness, you know what I'm saying, before we been woken up to this knowledge and truth by our sin, our teachers, going back to uh, Isaiah 30 and 20 and 21, 
you know, we, we didn't have the true understanding why we in slavery, why we in captivity. You know, we knew something was wrong. We knew we was at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Why we have these generational curses? Why, you know, why it seems like we don't get no justice here in Babylon. But then, you know what I'm saying? When we have the understanding and then we, we in the churches and then when you in them churches, you knew through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah, man, this ain't the right uh, gospel of Yahweh Shem Shah, man. You know, even in your spirit, man. You know, we couldn't link it up with scriptures at the time because, you know, we still was in darkness, but we were trying to fill our way, it, you know what I'm saying, to the light, man. You know what I'm saying? And then you how about you put that light on us? Man, we have that understanding now, man. All right, you know? We we can sleep, we can see clearer now. All right. Why we in why why are we in the state that we're in at the end of the day, man? Going back to the curses in Deuteronomy 20th chapter, um, starting at uh verse 15 on down to 68, man. All right. Um Let's uh, get back uh, to uh, verse 16. It says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven, man. You know what I'm saying? That's us doing the work. Us coming in the name of Yahweh, about you, man, shot. Us, you know what I'm saying? Uh, give it, you know what I'm saying? Giving that warning. Hey, man, Jacob's trouble is here. Hey, don't, 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 don't trust in Egypt, man. All right. Don't take the, the, the damn Beetlejuice. Don't take the Karagma at the end of the day, even, even if, even if you threaten the death, man, don't take it because Yahweh Shem Shah have a reward for us, man. Yahweh Shem Shah made a way for us to escape, man. All right, and giving glory to Yahweh Shem Shah, he's going to deliver us, you know what I'm saying, from that uh, uh, that second death, man. All right, you know. So that's what you know what I'm saying. We're supposed to be do. That's what that what we're supposed to be preaching good tidings at the end of the day. Yahweh Shem Shah. All right, verse sixteen. It says, "Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven." Man. All right, reading that once again. Now, you know, about to bring this listen almost to a close here. I ain't meant for it to go this long here, but it's all through the spirit, man. It's all through the spirit. Let's get First Thessalonians, man, 5. All right. I'm going to read verse 4. All right. Through 8, man. Okay. Uh, first uh, Thessalonians 5 and 4. It says, But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Hey, when Yahweh shall return, man. Once Yahweh shall return, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, ain't gonna be no more place of repentance. You know what I'm saying? You know, the uh, grace period is gonna be over with at that time, man. Ain't gonna be, ain't, can't be, oh man, repent. Y'all about Yahweh shall ask for forgiveness. It's gonna be too late then, man. Like time of Noah, man. It's gonna be too damn late, man. This is the time of repentance now, man. All right, you know, the grace period is still open, man. Now, man. All right, you know. For a little while anyway, man. It ain't gonna be forever. All right. Like I say, Jake then they got forever in a damn day. But going back to the book of uh First Thessalonians five and four. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief, man. Yes, because we 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 measuring the time, man. We looking for you how we shall return. So he's not gonna come back as a thief in the night, because we on our watch, man. All right, but you know, two thirds not on their watch, man. At the end of the day, they watching out for things of the fucking world. They're not looking for the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shah to return. They don't even know what that day holds, man. What that day means ultimately at the end of the day. All right, the great day of judgment, man. That's why Yahweh Shah gonna sneak back up on them like a thief in the night. But going back to uh, First Thessalonians five and five, it says, "Ye are all the children of light, represent the elect, and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness, man." All right. It says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Yeah, Jake, they sleep, man. They in La La Land at the end of the day. They, they lax. <laughs> Them niggas lax out here, yo. You know, they ain't got no worries, man. These niggas so lax. They forgot they in slavery. They forgot they in captivity, man. They forgot Esau's the number one enemy, man. That's how lax they are, man. The niggas was in damn line taking the damn Beetlejuice, man. Not knowing that's your damn enemy. The scripture said... And um, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach and Apocrypha, 12 and 10, never trust thy enemy, man. And nigga was in line, man, taking taking the Beetlejuice from the enemies, man. All right, showing you how sleek these niggas are, man. All right, but uh, the elect, man, is woken, man. You know, the hopeful elect, they woken, man, at the end of the day. We wouldn't take no Beetlejuice, even if, you know what I'm saying, certain of our jobs, you know, they they, they had it mandatory that you had to take it. Hey, man, we was willing to lose our jobs and trusting you. How about you, man? I was trying to make a way for us. We weren't going to take uh, that Beetlejuice, you know what I'm saying, by any means at the end of the day. And, and so, and likewise, you know what I'm saying, when Esau come and when he mandate that Karagma, hey man, hey, same damn thing, man. We ain't taking that shit neither. All right. It says, uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 6, because we're not the children of the dark darkness at the end of the day, man. We know what's up. But uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 6, and ultimately, 
That's Karagma. How about you, Mount Shah, at the end of the day, man? All right? That's the most high Karagma at the end of the day. Not, you know, but you use Esau to usher in to bring it in, man, for that fiery trial, man. All right? The hour of temptation, okay? But going back to 1 Thessalonians 5 and 6, it says, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Yeah, have that sober mind, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? You know that that, that uh, tunnel vision, man. That tunnel vision of you. How about you, Mount Shah, this truth, man? All right? You know, being on our watch, man. All right, you know, okay, not falling asleep, not going back into this goddamn world, man. All right, you know, looking for Yahweh Shah, man, being ready every day to see this world be destroyed by Yahweh Shah, man. All right, we understand prophecy must come, but we in the, we, we in a state of mind ready to see this place be destroyed, man. All right, you know, it says, uh, verse seven, it says, for a day that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day, which is the elect, all right, it should, you know, Jake that sleep, they're two thirds, they know what the fuck going on. It says, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. That's why, we, that's why we pray and we hope, you know what I'm saying? You know, that we are the hopeful elect at the end of the day. That's why we say what we say, man. You know, some of the elders of the great millstone to the elder bitches on down to us. We say, we pray we are the hopeful elect, man. All right, because scripture say he that endure to the end shall be saved. The end, is, the end is not yet. It's right. It's approaching. It's right there around the corner, but you know what I'm saying. The end is is not yet. Okay, so we so the elect to so we be beamed up in those chariots. All right, which is the elect. Okay, from that point on, hey man, what we praying and we hoping we have the hopeful elect. All right, of oh, Yahweh Bashim Al Bashar. We we not saved yet. We looking to be saved. That's why we said we we have the hopeful elect. All right. All right. And with that, you know, what I'm saying I want to um, I pray and I hope that, uh, you know, this was edifying. All right. To the hopeful elect. OK. All right. And just finishing off, it says and for and helmet, the hope of salvation, the hope of salvation. And we pray we have that hope of being deliverance by through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al-Bashat, man. Pray we have that number. And with that, I want to say shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect, shalom.